angel of the Lord said unto her, Behold, thou art with child, and shall bear a son, and shall call his name Ishmael, because the Lord has heard thy affliction. Now, you should not be concluding that Ishmael is a Muslim. You want to tell me Ishmael was born in the days of Muhammad? You want to tell me this guy was born in the days of Muhammad? No, this guy was born in a house of a man of God. And it's the angel of God giving out a name, Ishmael. Uh, because he's Ishmael is a Muslim. Quick comparison. Islam versus Christianity. Ishmael versus Isaac. It is commonly believed by Christians that Isaac was the son who was nearly sacrificed. For those unaware, there's a common story about Abraham attempting to sacrifice his son to follow God's command. However, he was stopped by God and it was a test of faith. Christians believe this son nearly sacrificed was Isaac, who would end up fathering the future nation of Israel via his descendants. However, Muslims disagree with this. Muslims believe the son nearly sacrificed was Ishmael, who would father the descendants eventually leading to Muhammad. So here we have the story of Abraham. Abraham has a child called Ishmael with Hagar because Abraham was unable to have children with his wife Sarah. Sarah suggested have a child with Hagar and they give birth to a child called Ishmael. Then miraculously Abraham and Sarah are able to have a child and they do have a child later called Isaac. Isaac and Ishmael are an interesting study because they would both be progenitors of nations to come. Ishmael is the father and ancestor of the Arab and later Muslim world. Who told he's a Muslim? He's not. This guy is not a Muslim. Now, verses 29 up to that one is going to give us the generation of Ishmael. Look down to verses 29. These are their generation. The first one of Ishmael, Nebaioth. Does that look like an Islam name? Is it an Islamic name? Nebaioth? No? Then Kedar, does it look like an Islamic name? Abdil, uh, uh, Abdil, Adbil, Admibsam. If I was says to say Abdil, you say yes, Pastor. That is an Islamic name. No, but the Bible says Adbil. <laughs> but the study, Mishma, and Duma, Masa, Hadar, and Tema, Jatur, Nafish, and Kedema. These are the sons of Ishmael. You know why I'm insisting on this point? Because not every time you hear a guy saying that his name is Abdi Qadir is an Islam. We have to understand that Islam is a religion and you can be called Weringa but an Islam. You can even be called, uh, don't we have Abrams who are Islams? We have them. So because we will be wrong to believe that a name can identify with your religion, or your faith because you know what how do we become Christians is it by name or by faith by faith so if you think that because your child is called Isaac is a Christian you are wrong Isaac will go to hell 